On the eve of his White House departure, President Trump released a farewell message touting some of his office's greatest accomplishments. He also wished for the next administration's success in keeping America safe and prosperous, all while avoiding saying Joe Biden's name. Che jung yun has more. Less than 24 hours before the end of his term in the Oval Office, Donald Trump made his last address as president to the American people in a pre-recorded 20-minute video. Trump touted the success of his administration, saying that it achieved the mission of making America great again. As I conclude my term as the 45th president of the United States, I stand before you truly proud of what we have achieved together. We did what we came here to do, and so much more. He also offered his best wishes to the new administration, but didn't mention President-elect Joe Biden's name throughout his speech. This week, we inaugurate a new administration and pray for its success in keeping America safe and prosperous. We extend our best wishes, and we also want them to have luck, a very important word. For months, Trump had refused to concede that he lost the 2020 election to Biden, choosing instead to fan the flames of conspiracy theories claiming that he in fact won. This encouraged his supporters to storm the Capitol, which he condemned as political violence. Political violence is an attack on everything we cherish as Americans. It can never be tolerated. Now more than ever, we must unify around our shared values and rise above the partisan rancor and forge our common destiny. As the only twice impeached president in U.S. history, Trump's political future, however, may be at risk. If the Senate votes to convict Trump, the chamber can permanently bar him from holding public office again. Republican leaders, including Vice President Mike Pence, are skipping President Trump's send-off from Washington, instead opting to focus on the inauguration of President-elect Joe Biden, which Trump plans to skip. Choi Jung-yoon, Arirang News.